I'm Anthony L. Elmore, writer, producer, director, and narrator of the film, 200 Years of Black Memphis History. I'm introducing segments from our film, 200 Years of Black Memphis History, into short history lessons called Profiles in Black Memphis History. On June 7, 2019, the Crosstown Post Office in Memphis, Tennessee, was renamed in honor of Judge Russell B. Sugarman. In this segment of Profiles in Black Memphis History, we tell you the story of the late Russell Sugarman. Inter interesting things did happen in Memphis. A young man who originally went to Morehouse with Dr. Martin Luther King went on to earn a law degree from Harvard University. Um, he invited his friend Dr. Martin Luther King to Memphis in 1959, he and other others organized a giant political rally in Memphis at Mason Temple, where Dr. King gave his last speech in 1968, but Dr. King came to Memphis in 1959. That, that young man was the late Russell B. Sugarman, who died in Memphis just recently uh, in 2019. With fellow attorneys A.W. Willis, Benjamin Hooks, Ben F. Jones, and H.T. Lockhart, Sugarman was the architect of a legal and political challenge of the white supremacy enforced by law even after Brown ruling was in writing. It was these attorneys who came to change the laws and circumstances in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, Sugarman ran for Public Works Commissioner, Hooks for Juvenile Court Judge, and Steinbeck for City Tax Assessor, and Love and Bonton running for seats on the school board. Not only did Dr. King speak at this gala event, they had gospel singer Mahalia Jackson to sing at the event. In 1964, A.W. Willis became the first African American elected to the Tennessee legislature since Reconstruction. Sugarman followed in 1966, and from that time henceforward, African Americans began to be elected to political offices in Memphis, Tennessee.